Hello you, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Kotaro. And uh, in this whole video, we're gonna check into Taurus and uh, their experience into the week, December 21st to December 27th, A 2020. And uh, just to let you know guys, that right now uh, for the Facebook following, there is a uh, exclusive sale on the tarot classes that it is going on. And it's pretty much anybody who follows me on Facebook can have the tarot classes with a 50% off. So if you do want to have those classes with 50% off at the, uh, the regular price, just follow me on Facebook. You can find the link for my page, page, <coughs> page down below in the description and uh, send me a message on the Facebook uh, page messages and uh, I'm going to provide you with a, a link that you can uh, take the classes with those 50% off. So with that being said, moving to Taurus week straight away and uh, just let me cut. And the first card we have for Taurus, uh, which represents the general topic of Taurus week, that is going to be the Hierophant. Moving next, we have uh, the uh, Ten of Wands, which stands as the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. Afterwards, that will be the five of wounds and that is the challenge that you guys need to overcome throughout the week. That is something like the uphill that you are to climb. Five of wounds here. Moving next, we have the uh, gift and the blessing that you do get to enjoy. And that is a phenomenal card to have in that position. We have the hangman here. Uh, afterwards, that is going to be uh, the view of the people or the vision of the people around you how anybody that looks at you sees you what kind of a person you are in their eyes and that will be the uh, page of wounds furthermore we have the four of swords and that stand, stands into the, into a position of obstacles which are holding you back and down so four of swords here Afterwards, we have the positive aspects that are pushing you forward, Taurus, and that will be the Moon card. And the last one, which represents the guidance the Tarot is offering, we have the Four. So, Taurus, uh, it seems as a quite of an important week uh, for you guys that we do have ahead. And uh, this week, it's very suitable, or rather like it fits perfectly with the closure of the year. Because that's what the week is all about. You closing up or wrapping up things around. Uh, with the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands that we do have here at the very first two positions, uh, your attitude with the energies of the Ten of Wands is going to be to do as much as you can in regards to the uh, responsibilities you have undertaken thus far, uh, promises that you have given and in generally fulfill all that it is hanging on you or it is riding on your train, knowing that at the end there will be a reward because those energies brings up a reward as well with the efforts that you are putting. More efforts, more reward. Uh, although you ain't gonna have much of a choice in regards to how little efforts you can put in, it is just it's not that you're, you will have to slog, don't get me wrong, but it's just the energies are gonna make you very workaholish, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. Then that leads to the situation of the week or the topic of the week that it is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a topic, it's a pretty philosophical card, if you will, um, and it, it varies do you interpret in terms of relationship or do you interpret in terms of career? But in career, the Hierophant here points that you ain't gonna think about money, at least not throughout the week, but instead, or the reward that you are gonna get, the reward is gonna come about, but you're not gonna think of it. Instead, you're gonna think of how to get the job done. And uh, the other, in terms of relationship, the Hierophant uh, points that throughout the week you, will, you are going to be more sensitive toward the trust and the mutual reliability rather than toward the love that you can get from one person or another. But above everything else, uh, if the Hierophant has a, a general card here into the topic, it points that throughout the week you can expect benevolent support with all the deeds that you have undertaken, as we can see there are to be many. Uh, 
as well you can expect some kind of a guidance like uh, very profound counseling it's not even a conversation but counseling you are to counsel yourself with a person that already had been at the place that you're trying to be they have the experience they're going to give you the experience and by that uh, you are to see that whatever predicaments you're facing in order to reach your goal they are their resolutions to those predicaments are uh, completely within the framework of already existing conditions so you don't have to look very far or do something uh, miraculous in order to overcome your problems moving next we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome here throughout the week and that is going to be the five of ones so challenging wise that is the overload that you will have to overcome that is the dynamic itself there are going to be many turnaround surprises you have planned one thing but something else turns out to be the case that you will need to put your sense of emergency into it and uh, that dynamic is going to truly uh, how can I say uh, first of all exhaust you and second of all is gonna make you a little bit agitated it's kind of like uh, or irritated is the, the is the correct word that I will have to use here <clears throat> and that could cause conflicts in between you and your co-workers in between you and your children for example or in between you and uh, in generally family you know relationship partners so on and so forth um, important thing to know uh, when that happened because it's not a matter of if but it is a matter of when and uh, when it happens you need to know that yeah you do have a gender that's great you do have a lot of responsibilities you a lot is riding on you uh, and the rewards is, are going to come but also you need to understand that people don't see everything and uh, even if they try to place themselves into your shoes right now they are unable to walk a mile with them so they, they don't know the full extent of your worries and when I say worries I mean worries in a good sense you know worrying to meet the, the, the deadline for example worrying to, to give the best out of yourself rather than worrying that something is going to fail or not pretty much with the first two cards it's highly highly unlikely that something is going to fail that you are to participate into moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy and that is going to be the hangman and the hangman in this position it's a flawless card that we do have first of all the hangman here points that whatever seeds you do plan throughout the week they are gonna have their they're gonna take their time okay to grow but they are yours to bear so uh, it's kind of like whatever you start throughout the week it's pretty much doomed to succeed <laughs> so uh, with the hangman also that points that this week it's your final test something like this and when you push through the week you endure that very final like again push of uh, under the pressure that you are to find yourself at then your life is going to be set into stir once more but the biggest gift that the handman really gives it is the perception that just like the man is hanging upside down dangling on the tree looking at the world from a different perspective such it is how you're going to look at to the world and it's going to look different and it's going to look much more it's not even colorful it's more like much more open than before different much much different uh, so next one that we do have for you uh, that will be the impression that uh, people have for you Taurus and that will be the page of wands uh, page of wands usually is the little brother of uh, the full card but people will have a wrong impression in you what they are going to see it's it, it's a shell right what they're going to see it is how strong you are from outside that you are the person in the center of the company you know that you are the rebel into your working place that you are the passionate person that always have an attraction from other uh, from other people for example in terms of relationship that you are ever so strong on your own accord what people will not will fail to see though it is what you do hold within so people are going to see the strong shell shell that it is outworthy or outward or yeah outside let's say 
but they are not going to be able to see beneath the skin deep that you are very fragile and uh, or your soul is fragile like anybody else's soul and um, you know sometimes you do also need support you also need to feel that you are loved you also need to feel that you are uh, how can I say mm, I forgot the word um, encouraged that you also need to feel that you do have someone that it is behind you that whenever you make a wrong move or wrong step and you trip and, and start falling down that person is there to pretty much catch you and, and put you back on your feet. Another thing that people are going to expect from you Taurus is um, good news so if you don't have anything good to say better don't say anything because that is just going to provoke people to 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 confront you not necessarily um, in term of uh, not necessarily justified confrontation here uh, it's just how can i say it it's just they're going to give it to your rebe uh, rebellion rebe uh, rebellious uh, nature that you are giving them a good, uh, a bad news, or twisting the good one in a bad one, because you are not going to um, be subordinate. That is another thing that I want to say here. Uh, this card is not very good when it comes to career, uh, because the way that your boss is going to look at you, it's exactly that unsubordinate that you feel very miserable when you are told what to do. I mean, they can point you a direction and then you do your thing and you get to that direction. But when they give you a plan, oh my God, they, they will kind of like see the, the anointment that is going to be written in your face. And they couldn't get it more wrong than that. For with the first two cards, you can live up to the responsibility. Moving next, we do have the things that are going to hold you back and down. And that is the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords here, uh, you are, it's highly likely that you are going to feel misunderstood and will try to find somebody to understand you. And there will be such a person, like we said, with the first two cards, someone that you are going to cancel yourself with or con 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 cancel, yeah, cancel yourself with. Uh, but that person is not going to understand you. He is just going to point you the, uh, the right moves that you got to do. With the four of ones, with the four of swords, I'm sorry, what is going to work to your detriment is exactly that to seek the mental support from somebody. Uh, don't bother at all because nobody can, uh, how can I say, can see things from your shoes. Like I said, nobody is going to walk a mile within your shoes. And they may partially understand you, but not entirely. Another thing that is going to hold you back, which is related as well to the hangman, it is that delay that uh, the hangman poses but like i said the only thing you gotta do is just push through the week you know endure through the week and then your life is going to be set into stir once more and now that i that we are still on the four of swords another thing which is very treacherous right uh, you can expect that throughout the week um certain issues or certain problems that uh, you have experienced in the previous week are going to simply vanish they, they will no longer be there for example, say uh, you owe money to, to somebody, say your neighbor, and your neighbor was constantly bothering you for those money. Uh, and now suddenly in this week, you, you don't hear from them at all. So you may think, okay, so my neighbor, it's, it's not like he doesn't or she doesn't expect their money back, but it's, they're giving me time. No, they're not. Okay, so this is like a treacherous, very uh, misleading not disappearance, but like muffling of the of the problems. They are going to come twice as uh, twice as tough after the week is end, uh, ends. And so, what you gotta do here in order to overcome that, because there is a, a a way to overcome it, is to truly attend to them while they are not with their full strength on top of you. Moving next, we do have the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be that is going to push you forward. So we do have the moon card here. Moon card is the moon card is also very good card to have in this position because you don't have to do much about it. This is just the positive aspect. It is that you, without you even knowing it, you are set on a certain course, and that course is going to lead you to a place where you belong, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. I'm explaining that into the tarot classes. Just so I'm going to uh, mention here, we do have a path that goes beyond the summit. What is beyond the summit? 
You don't know, but you definitely need to walk that path, right? So the uh, the happenings into the week for you, Taurus, are going to be very, not just only substantial, but also essential for uh, uh, for your future, and you cannot avoid them. Now, that, that's the thing with the Moon card. It happens without you even knowing what is happening. The circumstances over the happening, they are shrouded in mystery, in darkness. And bit by bit, they are revealing themselves to you, but in a, such a fashion that it is way too late to do anything about it, okay? But whatever is happening, it is for your own good. You are meant to, not to experience exactly those circumstances, but to walk down that path. And that path is starting in this week, December 21st to December 27th, 2020. And the last card we do have for you, uh, Taurus, that is going to be the full card, which obviously it does represent new beginnings. Uh, you can read it in every book. Uh, but the full card also refers to your behavior in that particular case. You have to be, you should be spontaneous, meaning that whatever comes from your soul, you got to express it there. You got to as well uh, as a guidance, the card guides you into more creative type of work, like an art, something that is your muse, because you need to make your life being a muse of yours, rather than to be a slog of yours. Uh, another thing here with the full card is that you gotta be a bit careful what kind of a people you are associating yourself with. That is related a bit to the Four of Swords because not everybody will be able to um, uh, understand you and there are gonna be those that are trying at least, but there are gonna be those that pff, they, they simply won't care. So you don't want such people, uh, such people around you. But above everything else, guys, as we do have the full card, be open for everything new because new is coming. You don't see it yet because of the moon card that stands here on the positive aspect. It's just shrouding it. It, it is shrouded and all shroud, shrouding it into darkness. That doesn't make it untrue and it doesn't make it looming. And so yeah, it's it, it's pretty much coming. And just just for that reason, because you don't know what it is, you gotta be open for everything new. And if you will take it as a leap of faith. So that being said, uh, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading, Taurus, December 21st to December 27th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we're to see each other next time. Until then, bye.